What is going on, lunatics? Let's get at it. We got a lot of information to cover today. And look, I, I'm going to show you something that's going to tell you that this uh, that, that Luna Classic is about to explode in price, okay? Uh, it's a very simple indicator, uh, but when you see it, uh, I hope you understand. I'm gonna sh I'll show you a couple times, but it just gives you an idea that this thing is recognizing a an opportunity for a big, big move coming. Not what we've seen so far. What we've seen so far is nothing. What it says is that there is a big move coming. And by the way, it's starting to pop up on, in all of the market. So to be fair, there's a lot going on here. And look, I think your bag of Luna Classic is about to pump. So if you like this type of content, make sure that you hit the like button on the way in. I'm going to explain it to you, but we're going to get to it in just a moment. First, first. So Three Arrows Capital has now taken legal action against Terraform Labs for $1.3 billion. Doesn't matter. Doesn't affect us at all. However, it is important to note that it is in this ecosystem, uh, if you will, or at least in this environment. So, I mean, what happens, what, what, what happens, happens. It's not going to cost us anything, but uh, because we're in the news or because it will be in the news continually, then uh, there's going to be some eyes looking over here. And there's probably going to be some some FUD campaigns and stuff like that. Again, it doesn't directly affect us because we're already, this is zombie chain that's being rebuilt, but uh, it is out there, so we should acknowledge. As far as price action goes, I don't really have anything. There's no real news update that says anybody's opinion of where the uh, price action is going to go, so we're going to move on from that. Uh, there is a proposal up here for the creation of the Luna Classic Code Certifiers team, and uh, if you guys remember, you know, we're having conversations about some of this stuff nothing has come up for governance yet as you can see right here we're still just closing out previous governance so there's nothing new that's happening right now so we're going to skip forward to price action now okay so this green box that you see right here it's called a fair value gap now when a fair value gap appears it usually is a predicator of something happening right now to give you an idea fair value a fair value gap appeared right here and what happened? We dumped dramatically. It appeared here. What happened? We dumped dramatically. It appeared here. What happened? We dumped dramatically. It appeared here. What happened? We exploded in price. Okay. Now, uh, in, in looking over this, you haven't seen very many of these appear. But when they do, that signals some big time volatility getting ready to come. Well, we've got one that's popped up. Remember, we did this yesterday. It was not there. Today it is there, which indicates to me that we are looking for, we are primed for an explosive move. Now, when I called this for you, I gave you this line. I said, you know, we're going to come down into this range right here. I would expect a bounce off of here. Then I would expect a move up here, break above. And then if we do, we're going to kind of meander around here before the next explosive move. Well, guess what's happening? This is actually playing out exactly as I drew it up for you guys uh, doesn't mean I'm right. Doesn't mean that it will happen, but it's looking like it's getting ready to happen. Now, the rest of this broader market also has fair value gaps starting to pop up, especially in Bitcoin. Again, this is a sign of an impending, very big move. Now, what this fair value gap is, is simply, it's a situation in which the numbers of buys and sells is suddenly coming out of order and is an indication that something big is probably coming. Okay, so that's what we saw happen over here, and now we're seeing that consolidation for that next big move. Now, let me also point out, that's happened over here, over here, over here, over here, over here, over here, and you still don't have the, the fair value gap indicator, and that's because buys and sells do not look inappropriate. What this is saying is that there's big buy orders coming in for uh, people are bidding uh, premium on your product. So with, with people bidding premiums on the product and they know or they have reason to know that there is some kind of explosive move coming in their estimation. Are they always right? Well, according to this, they are. According to this, they Does it always happen on that day? No, it does not. Uh, if you look at this one right here, uh, this, this gap appeared right here. It got filled and then boom, uh, the next thing you know, just a cascade of downward pressure. Okay, so what would it look like if this were to happen again? What we saw over here the last time. Well, um, it's actually very, very simple. From the value gap all the way up to the top, if we take that and we just continue to a continuation from here, uh, then you are looking at a big move up above my green box. Now, what I would like to say here is, most likely, let's look at the fair value gap in the box right there. If we do that in the box right there, then it becomes the, the area that we've been targeting for a while. So it, it would look to me like... We are probably in 
that uh, the final stages, I want to say, of this bearish accumulation period or the bullish accumulation period. I guess we're not in distribution, so we're going to say it's bullish. But accumulation phase is almost over and we're about to hit that up radius. Now, what I told you two days ago, bullish reversal if we close above this line. We haven't closed above this line. We've consolidated underneath. That's gaining support and gathering steam, if you will, for that next big move. Uh, remember, this happens all the time. Uh, we gather steam here for the move down. We gather steam here for the move up. We gather steam here for the next move up. We gather steam here for the next move up. That's what we're seeing play out right now. Now, will it continue? Well, there's a possibility that it won't because let me show you, you know, we had this move up here, we accumulated right here and then came back down. So it doesn't mean that we're going up, but the market sentiment does. The market sentiment tells me that, you know, and by the way, this does not mean it's just going to be up only. There could be another drop all the way down here uh, into this range. This could be the first time that it's wrong. Anything can happen. Um, the, the market does what the market does. And look, the market is, is predicated on what Bitcoin does. And, you know, you're seeing a lot of fluctuation with Bitcoin right now going up and down quite a bit. Ethereum doing a nice little recovery job, but, you know. Uh, not a lot. So let's move on from here. Guys, just keep in mind here, I do think there is an explosive move getting ready to happen here on Luna Classic, and we're watching it kind of play out. Now, as far as volume goes, volume is down, but the market cap is kind of staying the same. Same thing over here. Uh, market volume is down, but uh, market cap is staying kind of the same. So, uh, and then over on Coin Hall, uh, you can you know kind of, kind of see there's a lot of activity over here. Not a lot of pump on some of these tokens. Uh, uh, Terra down um, 4% on the day. Cookie up 3.5% on the day. Food up 3% on the day. Uh, remember, we're going to talk about, we're, we'll talk about food pretty soon. And Garuda, Garuda having a nice day up 10% on the day. So uh, you, you do have some opportunities here. And again, no governance happening right now. Uh, burns continuing to decline. However, again, I, I, I think that we're going to see something happen very, very soon. So I think everything is just kind of curling up for that next big impulse sort of move. So what I want to do today is talk to you about Terra Casino. Because if you haven't already, you got to go to Terra Casino. You got to check them out. Because if you don't, who's going to tell you all this information? Go sign up at Terra Casino today for all your risk based gaming. You want to do some PvP poker, uh, any sort of casino games that you want to do, including crypto trading, where you can uh, basically do Bitcoin trading up and down, and you can decide. Uh, what your wager is on which direction, and you get 20x multiplier. So, for example, if we pop in right now uh, and we wager a dollar, or let's say that we wager, uh, well, I guess we're going to stick with a dollar for the moment. Let's just say we wagered a dollar right now uh, at 20x, and then we connect our wallet, and then it goes up all of a sudden, uh, then boom, uh, <laughs> You know, we're going to have a nice big win off of this. And guys, come over here and do some uh, exploring for yourself. Try this out. Uh, see what you can do. Um, it helps out tremendously. Also, uh, Terraport, if you haven't already, this is where you come in order to trade your meme coins. This is where you come to trade your lunk right now. People are constantly sending me messages saying, hey, where do I trade? Where do I trade? You trade on Terraport.finance. Now, onboarding and offboarding your money. That is a different story entirely. What you'll have to do is you will have to fund your wallet, whatever wallet it is. But you, if you have a funded wallet, then anything that you have, you can move over into this ecosystem. Now, there's not a lot of USDC and USDT, et cetera, et cetera. But you still have the opportunity to convert it on either a centralized exchange or even go and buy it on a DeFi exchange and then migrate it over. So... Um, that being said, what are you waiting for? Go to terraport.finance and get it done today. Also, uh, we've got our stake going on over here. I'm not connected again. I, you know, every day, um, you you have your farming protocols and you have rocket over here on the launch pad. We're going to see something happening. You know what? I might be able to connect my wallet. Let me try this one more time. Actually. Yeah, we can. Okay. So we got our points here. Uh, we got our staking here. So, and by the way, all sold out here. So guys, if you want to stake on Terra, uh, now is the time. I mean, now is the time. So, uh, definitely want to check this out. Uh, now, let's talk about, and I'm going to put, this is going to be at the end of this, so we're going we're gonna to do this. I'm going to play for you the entirety of Strathcole playing Galactic X. Now, what is Galactic X? Galact Galactic, I'm going to show you the entirety of Strathcole playing Galactic Shift. What is Galactic Shift, you might be asked? A trading card. But I'm going to let him speak, and I'm going to attach that video to the end of this so you can watch it in full, and you can get an idea of this game, because who better to explain it? So 
Um, I'm going to turn that over to him right now. Remember, it's not financial advice. I'm always right. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to watch this because uh, that the Galactic Shift game is actually pretty fun. And again, I told you before, I'm not a huge fan of it, but guess what? It turns out I am a fan of this one. So uh, we'll talk to you again very, very soon. Hey and welcome, this is Stress Cole. Today we want to make a short video about Galactic Shift TCG. So we are at the point where we have the first playable PvP version ready. And today I want to give you a short introduction into the game to show you how it looks currently. So there's two opportunities to log in, one with crypto, this will display a QR code for Kepler Mobile to scan, or the no normal login with uh, credentials. So after login, oh. <laughs> so after login, you reach the main page. This UI will still change a bit because it's not yet optimized. You can choose the default deck. We have some prepared for our testings and I will go with Mars. My opponent will go with uh, Cosmos cards. So at the top you can choose the picture. This will later be the heroes. So be aware that you need a hero NFT to be able to join the early access game. This will be launched during the next weeks. So, at the top left you also see the GS Eve coins that you have. This is the game currency. It's a game token um, from Etherverge. So, now we will go to the multiplayer and start the game. Okay, first we need to um, decide if we want to keep these hands or reshuffle. We can reshuffle once, but we have two character cards and some additional cards, so I just confirm these. Um, I will play the strong Martian Centurion. You see it deducted energy, so each card costs energy to play, in this case five. And I will check, I will give it two additional defense and I will play a trap and because I have no energy left um, I the energy does not fully refill after each turn it depends on the speed of your cards how much it will refill so I will not play the second character right now I will just end my turn so now waiting for my opponent okay he plays a cosmic sorcerer and a Cosmos Explorer. I have higher speed, so during the next turn, yeah, it's my turn again. Now I will play the Martian Botanist and I will check, okay, he has four defense, I have four attacks, so it wouldn't de do much damage. So I will give it two additional attack. Um, and I will play a power card to deal one damage to all opponent cards and then attack. Okay, so I will not attack here because he has four attack and I have two defense. Ah, uh, well, I will. Ah, I can't because I have played it this round. Okay, I will play... Oh, I have no energy left, so I need to end my turn. So you cannot attack the opponent directly. He has still 20 health points left. I have 20 health points left. You can only attack the opponent when there are no character cards left on the table, on the battlefield. On the left side you can see what was played and what traps were triggered. On the right side you can also see 
um, what was played. Okay, he played a hidden trap. I don't know what it is. It's still his turn. So he has cards with 5 speed, 6 speed and 4 speed. And every time each of us has made its turn, um, the, the speed the speed average decides who goes next in the next round. So it might be that you have two turns in a row if you have high speed. Okay, I will make this one immutable for a turn. I will increase... no, I will play a trap. I will increase the speed here and I will attack this one. Okay, nothing left for me to do. And because I have a higher average of speed, it's again my turn. And afterwards is his turn. Whew, okay, defense health. I give this one more health. I will play another trap card and I will attack this one. And I will attack this. Okay. Doesn't look that good for me, because he has many characters uh, on, on the battlefield. Okay, reveal an opponent's... Oh! He has revealed my trap card, so he now knows what this is. Hmm. Okay. So he attacked my Martian Centurion. Only five health left, that's not good. So waiting for his next actions. Okay. Now I have seven and four as speed. Eleven, so five and a half in average. Okay, he destroyed my Centurion. He gets back to energy and can play another card. That is quite a good idea if you need to play one badly. I play a Martian Commando. This has a special ability, Precision Strike. But this can only be used once in a game. Okay, so I will protect this one again. Make it untargetable. Oh, no, I can't. I have no energy left. This one is too weak to attack. It, it wouldn't do anything if I attack with that one. Ah, so I need to end my turn. I'm... I think I will lose this one. Uh, this really doesn't look that good. Okay. Blocking two damage. Oh. Ah, only two health left. Okay, so what to do now? Mm. Hmm. I will use the precision strike and I will attack this one. Oh, that's, that's mean. He redirected the attack. Phew, okay. Uh, so, what to do now? It's quite a difficult situation because I cannot do much. I can play another card. So, these test decks currently only have 20 cards. And normally you have 40 in a deck. And if you cannot draw any more cards, you lose automatically. Oh, what did they do? played some power card, let me check. Cosmic Harmony. Health of all players to the average of all health. Okay. Hmm. 
I don't have that many good cards currently. Yeah, I can't use the precision precision strike anymore because I already used it. Um, so I will attack this one. Ah, oh, come on. <sighs> it again evaded, so I struck the wrong one, which I didn't want to. Okay, I cannot do any more. So, although my health is still at 20 because I still have character cards, it's not that easy. Because I think his are more powerful in the long term. Okay, so let me check that. Attack. Okay, I have eight attack, four, six, because the defense refills each round, the health doesn't. So I need each round to first deduct the defense to be able to destroy the card afterwards. So I managed to destroy, destroy that one. Will now end my turn. And it's also again my turn because he has a speed average of four. I have a speed average of 5, so I think I can attack again. I will play the Settler. I will attack with this one. Yeah, and this is not the correct victory condition currently, because of course you need to first remove the opponent's health when no character is left in game. But I think you got the idea, and I'm quite excited of um, on the progress we have made during the past weeks. There's a ranking, so yeah, there's a win rate and the experience, and of course there will be later a deck builder to select what you want to play with, and it will read your NFTs that you have from Galactic Shift or on Mayetta. So. I hope you enjoyed this little video about Galactic Shift and how it's played. Yeah, and yeah, feel free to ask me questions when you have the opportunity in spaces or via DM. And I hope to see you soon in the game. Have a nice day. Cryptonomy.finance is giving away $100,000 in Ethereum and $100,000 in Solana. Go to this X post and engage with it in order to get registered. Uh, you have to follow their Telegram, follow Cryptonomy on X, make a fixed staking deposit of at least six months. There's no amount given, but the winners could range from $100 to $10,000. So check it out today. Also, we now have a dark mode on Cryptonomy. So if you haven't, make sure you go check that out. Now, I told you guys before, I'm a big time fan of API3. I think it's going to be one of the bangers. We're going to do this one for six months. And we're also going to make a deposit on Ondo. And again, we're going to do it for six months. That's a 32.46% yield. And now we're staked with more API, more Ondo. Guys, I can't stress enough the market get ready because there's something big getting ready to happen. Make sure that you're staking with cryptonomy.finance today.